Welcome to Swept TV Africa. Let the story begin. The man who announced the concession of Piafra to the Nigerian government, Philip F. Young, was the vice president of the now defunct Republic of Biafra during the Nigerian Civil War of the 1967 to 1970. In 1967, following two coups which led to about a million Igbos returning to the southeast of Nigeria, the Republic of Biafra succeeded with military officer Emeka Odumegu Ojuku. The war aim of Biafra is purely to prevent ourselves being slaughtered, nothing more. We haven't got the sophisticated war aim of Nigeria to conquer, to overrun, to do something or the other. For us, merely to prevent. And if anybody is going to judge our success and failure in this war, it will have to depend on how much we have prevented the enemy from killing us. And the fact that we are here all indicates that we have been very successful. On January 9, Ojuku boarded a private jet and fled to Ivory Coast. The mantle of leadership thus fell on Philip F. Young. By the time F. Young took over, the war had become defensive on the Biafran side as the Nigerian troops had used both military offensive and starvation to weaken the secessionists. At the time of surrender, Philip F. Young believed that the situation was hopeless and that prolonging the conflict would have led to only the further destruction and starvation of the people of Biafra. At that time, F. Young said, We accept the existing administrative and political structure of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and that any future constitutional arrangement would be worked out by representatives of the people of Nigeria that the Republic of Biafra hereby ceases to exist. Biafra hereby ceases to exist. If you enjoy this history, can you like this video? Don't forget to share your comment and subscribe to this channel for more interesting history coming from Swept TV Africa.